So then <clears throat> let's erase everything in the pre-processing we, we have made so far. Okay, let's talk about dead pixels. In this case, we can say standard deviation, that means how much we allowed to have any absorbance of any intensity to deviate from the mean of every single spectrum of our hypers hyperspectral image. In this case, a good value would be, for instance, six and zeros. We have to indicate the percentage that we allow one spectrum to have as zeros. In this case, I could say, for instance, 10% in the shape of 0 0.1. And if I run it, look, this is row false RGB. We already know this display. Then we have detected one dead pixel, okay? And now in the corrected image, we will have this pixel here interpolated with the neighbors, okay? Then, Concerning the spatial binning, basically we have to, to make binning the mean of the subwindows of two. This will reduce a lot the surface resolution of, uh, of the image, as well as the spectral resolution. That means it will remove a little bit of the noise of the spectral dimension, okay? It's an operation that takes a little bit of time, okay? And uh, in some occasions it's advisable, and in some others it's not that, uh, that advisable. Okay, you see, average of the original, 200 times 117 spatial dimensions, and here we have 155 uh, pixels. You see, it's, uh, we have reduced to a quarter of the image. Here, since we don't have mask, nothing happens here, no wor don't worry, okay? And then we can also make spectral binning. We can make a spectral binning with the spatial binning or basically erase it and repeat here. Spectral binning with a resolution of, for instance, three. It will take every three wavelengths and make the average. You see here is the same wavelength vector, but here instead of having, uh, let me remember, instead of having 142 <laughs> wavelengths, we will have 142 divided times three. Okay, 